Hey guys, you'll be here. It's like 1.30 in the morning. I've got some peace and quiet. And I have access to a computer, mainly uh, my old computer. So it's not going to be... I'm probably just going to encode this in 720p rather than 1080. hope it doesn't make that much of a difference. But I think I'm going to be a chemist. And, yeah, I'm just going to be a chemist with a random name. And, hmm, my hair color, let's do a red, red, and like, let's just cut. Now, cancel. That's too red, actually. Oh, wait, how much time do I have? Okay, got plenty of time. Anyways, yeah, I know it's been a while since I made a video, but I actually do want to make a video now. Just as maybe a chemist, or even some kind of trader, or wizard, or operative, or something. But if it's not that, I'll probably just be a chemist the whole time. It'll be a boring video, just saying. I kind of like that. It's pretty, pretty fancy for a chemist. Uh, let's see. I'm going to do a little bit more red. I think that's exactly how it was before. Whatever. A devil lock? The heck is that? Oh. Meh. A crew cut, a comb over. Hmm. A hit top. Gelled back. Called gelled back. <laughs> Basically Garrett Kiefer, but a random name. I just love this hairstyle. I don't know why. Now, let's see. I want my hair, or my facial hair to be the same style. A gelled back with a Watson. I don't know what any of these mustaches actually are. Okay, then I... Never mind. Dwarf beard? Ooh, that's actually a good one. Maybe a goatee. Oh, that looks really nice. I'm actually going to save that. Okay. So yeah, chemist. Let's just wait. Makes sense that a chemist would have his hair gelled back. Alright, uh, I was missing all this OC. Alright. Like I said, just a laid back video. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to encode this, because my computer is sort of degenerating, this old one. So I think it was all the encoding. Video card's not used to it, or whatever encodes, I'm not sure. I'm guessing it's the video card. I was already having problems with it in the first place, but at least it can record Space Station 13. Which you guys seem to like a lot. I'm actually kind of sad that I couldn't continue my X3 Albion Prelude series, but it was also kind of doomed to failure. The uh the mods in it, they did make they did make it fairly easy in terms of advancement in that I could just go and salvage these ships everywhere, which yield a pretty fucking big profit. So, maybe next time I'll do it without those salvaging mods. Because if people want to mod it, they'll do it themselves. But a lot of people who come to the who come just want to see it normally, and to be honest, I don't want it to be super easy. Anyways, so we start as a chemist. No special roles or anything. Leave now if you don't want this to be boring. But, as a chemist... The best thing for you to do is just to make healing chemicals for people, if you feel like it. If you're a trader, make poisonous chemicals and stuff. If you want to be a good chemist, don't make chloral hydrate. Just don't. It's not... It's. Yeah. You might think that it's cool to protect yourself, but you're just going to end up wanting to use it. Sugar, oxygen, carbon. Carbon, carbon, carbon. There we go. I just put together some by carotene. So, I'm going to grab a pill bottle. I'm going to stick it in the chem master and stick the beaker in there. And my partner shoved himself down disposal, so <laughs> I guess I get both machines. 
I think I will make this a bottle of 10 milligram bicaridine. Alright, now I grab this labeler. You click it when it's in your hand, and then I'm going to do 10 mg by carradine. It's not really necessary to do this. I mean, I can keep the pill bottle in the in chemistry, but then out there, people will uh, people will probably just get treated in the med bay anyways. But if I leave the but like. Okay, let me re-explain this. If I leave it in chemistry, it's sort of convenient, and then I can just reach into it, but it would almost be just as fast for me to just mix up the chemicals right there for anybody that shows up. So it's the, the um, benefits are kind of negligible. But another thing that could happen is that I stick the pill bottles back there. I don't know if you can see my mouse, but back there uh, behind the desk and hope that whoever the pharmacist or or I hope somebody doesn't come by and stick them in their backpack and run away with them because I'd rather they just stay back there. But I think the solution to that might be to just use this chemical closet as a pill storage. But things have a limited, like you could only put a limited amount of pills in there. So I think I'm just going to try and trust whoever it is to uh, that decides to man the desk to do that. Looks like the RD turned somebody into a monkey. Come on, there we go. Alright, I actually do have most of these healing chemicals memorized, so it's not a big deal. Let's see. Oh, okay, so I think this is silicon, carbon, iron, phosphorus. Oxygen? Yeah, it was oxygen. Anyways, yeah, I better disable OOC so I don't make that mistake again. Alright, let's see. Kilotane, iron, oxygen. Okay, so it was oxygen, phosphorus. Okay, there we go. I remembered it a little bit. So I'll just stick it in there and get rid of this iron. So it doesn't take iron. But anyways, um, you have kelotane, which is uh, carbon and silicon, which heals burn damage, but you can add uh, oxygen and phosphorus to the kelotane, which makes it dermaline, which is much better at treating burn damage. So there's really no reason not to because adding oxygen and phosphorus basically doubles the amount of dermaline you get, so it's pretty nice. <sighs> Grab the labeler. Stick it, uh, gotta turn it off and on. 10 mg dermaline. Alright, we'll drop that right there. Possibly hand it over to a uh, doctor. And then I'm thinking antitoxin. Let's do. Oh, what was it? It was silicon, potassium, nitrogen. Yep, I got it. All right, and I'll stick it in there. Grab that. Actually, I think uh, antitoxin is better in a high dosage. So I'm going to do 20 milligrams per pill. We'll eject beef beaker, not beefer, beaker. All right. Uh, I'm gonna do a thirty. Silicon, potassium, 
nitrogen. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Oh, hey, some lovely music. Alright, so there is our pill bottles put together. Where did I stick that labeler? Alright, we'll label it 20 milligram dilavine. Alrighty. Now, I'm going to make one more thing. Well, let's see. Sugar, oxygen, carbon, silicon, potassium, nitrogen. Uh. Watching over the med bay, being a roaming doctor, what? So there's our trichordrazine. What trichordrazine does... Oh yeah, dilavine is antitoxin, and bicaridine heals brute damage, which I did before. Trichord is what I meant to put on there. Are there other doctors... If you need healing, come to chemistry. I have some pre-mixed chemicals for a quick heal, or I can whip something up for you. Aww. Okay, that's kind of obnoxious. Anyways. I'm going to head down and grab the beakers. Oh, shit. I forget what... You know what? No, I'm not. Um, just because I don't feel like messing with the windows and looking up the recipe. I'm pretty sure... Yeah. It's like five solid... Or it's five plasma and something else to make uh, clone exodone, which would basically quadruple the amount of uh, cryoxidone over here. But I just don't feel like looking. Well, I can just, just a second. Uh, oh, great, look at that. Look at that mess. Dead monkey. Hmm. Looks like something went on. Anyway, I think I will just look them up on my phones. But yeah, like I said, it's just going to be sort of a relaxing video. Actually, I'll just pause the recording real quick. Well, music or no music? Hmm... No, because if the mime comes back in, it uh, it might be a bit um, problematic. That's what I'm looking for. 
I'm just going to bring up a list of chemi chemistry recipes. Alright. I could start mixing up some other chemicals, but I'd rather just do it when they get there. It's kind of like a, it's, you know, a demand. I'd, I'd like to have a demand. Hmm. What's wrong, Mom? There's a list of chemicals. All right. Clonexidone is cryoxidone sodium in five units plasma. All right. So this guy, this mime. Needs. Uh, let's see. Imidazolin. That's antitoxin, carbon, and hydrogen. Okay, so that's uh, silicon, potassium, nitrogen, carbon, hydrogen. Alrighty. Ma Mime, come back to chemistry. I have the medicine for your eyes. What else could I make? Lipazine, rietalin, spacicillin. You know what? I think I'm going to start preparing some spacicillin. So it needs cryptobiolin and inapruvalin. Let's see. So cryptobiolin is way down here. That would be oxygen, potassium, sugar. Okay. Oxygen, potassium, sugar, sugar, oxygen, carbon. There we go. 60 units of spacicillin. Alright. Let's do... Hmm. Yeah, we'll do 10 units per pill. This could save the station one day. Keeps people from scrambling for uh, spacicillin. I've never actually thought about that. Creating uh, the cure to diseases beforehand. What is the cure for GBS? Right, synaptazine. Sure thing. I'll whip you up and a perjure. Let's see. Ethyl redox resine. Antitoxin carbon oxygen. So that would be silicon. Potassium, nitrogen, uh, carbon, oxygen.
you know what? I'll just stick all the all this crap in there. Some alcohol can give you toxins damage, so this guy will appreciate it, I'm sure. And uh, <laughs> looks like the mine brought me lunch and dinner. Sounds good to me. Alright, so let's continue. Okay, so we want synaptazine and sulfur. Synaptazine is... It's a chemical that lowers the duration of paralysis, stunned, weakened, drowsiness, and hallucinations. It has a chance to deal a small amount of toxins damage, but it's used as part of a cure for GBS. So let's do lithium, sugar, water... Okay, that's interesting. Anyways, lithium, sugar, water, sulfur, sulfur, sulfur. Then I'm going to get out a GBS cure, or a bottle for GBS cure. One, two, create pill. One, two, create pill. One, two, create pill. All right, it's lithium, sugar, water, sulfur, 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 sulfur. Uh, with this video, I'm sort of taking a cue from Plump Helmet Punk in that I'm just doing it at... Um, pretty early in the morning, and I'm kind of hoping that, uh, sort of relaxing, just like I kind of, oh my goodness, my words, they've deserted me, but, uh, just like how this video, just being a chemist, a nice chemist, and helping people, where's that, did I label this? Let's see, what is it? Yeah, that's my space acillin. Okay. Alright, GBS cure. That's what that is, and this is all purpose antibiotic space acillin. I don't know if it'll fit. Antibiotic space acillin. Yes. Let's see what this guy. He doesn't have any damage, so I don't need to start whipping anything up for that. Sorry, you'll have to look elsewhere. Uh oh. Peter. Looks like he committed suicide. You won't want to come back. Hmm. What else can I make? Let's see. But honestly, though, like, I find it entertaining to just sit behind the desk and wait for an order. It's funny because it's like a real job, but it's not boring when it should be. It's probably boring to you, but not to me. I like to sit back and relax. There's no geneticists to make anti-radiation medicine for. Let's see what... Uh, Cool. Anyways, let's see what stuff I could make that's useful. Do we have any active botanists? Uh-oh. 
Sounds like a bomb went off. Well, none of my business. Well, not yet. I'm thinking... Hmm. Man, do I really want to take the time and effort to do that? Let's see. Polytrinic, smoke, sodium chloride. I gotta make that. That's salt. Synth flesh. You know, I could do that. No, that's clonexidone and blood, which takes plasma. Actually, I could feed the station. I think I'm gonna do that. Let's see. Okay, so clonexidone is cryoxidone. Oh, we could put dexalin. How do you make dexalin? Okay, so that's two parts oxygen. So it would be oxygen, oxygen, water, oxygen, sodium. And I need five units of plasma as a catalyst first. Grind the regents, or reagents, same thing. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> well, that's the end of that. Um, it kind of sucks that the round ended so early, but I'm going to sneeze. I can wait until I end the video. But, um, yeah, well, had some fun being a chemist. Like to mix things up. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys next time. This will be a nice short video. To encode.